In this video, we will be covering Stanford's two-step authentication, including a brief overview, how to set it up with Google Authenticator, and how to use it. Two-step authentication uses two types of authentication to verify your identity. First, your SUNET ID login and password, and second, an authentication code. Two-step authentication can help protect your Stanford account should someone else learn your password by providing a second level of security and protection. Now, let's go take a look at how to enable two-step authentication using Google Authenticator, specifically for iOS devices such as iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Enabling two-step authentication on your iOS device enables your smartphone to generate authentication codes using a mobile application without a network connection. Enabling two-step authentication on your iOS device is a simple process which includes the following steps. First, downloading and installing Google Authenticator, setting up two-step authentication for your Stanford account, and last, creating and using two-step authentication codes. In today's tutorial, we will be downloading and installing the application directly on the iOS device. Please note, for this tutorial, this will be downloaded on an iOS device that is running the beta version of iOS 7, so it may look a little different from your current iOS device. On your iOS device, launch the App Store icon and search for Google Authenticator. You will then be prompted to install, and in this case, I've already downloaded the Google Authenticator but I'm going to download it, install it onto this particular device. Now that we have installed Google Authenticator on our iOS device, we can begin setting up two-step authentication for our Stanford account. First, on your desktop or laptop browser, visit the Stanford Accounts application by navigating to accounts.stanford.edu and select Manage. Then we'll want to click on the two-step auth tab and click enable. Make sure you have your iOS device nearby, review the prerequisites and select continue. On the select authentication code mechanism page, select smartphone with Google Authenticator. There are two options. You can now use your iPhone camera to scan the barcode presented here, or you can also choose to enter in the 26 character key provided here. In this example, I will be scanning the barcode with my camera. In order to do so, open the Google Authenticator app and scan the barcode with the camera. It will look similar to this. So I'm going to launch Google Authenticator, select the plus button to add a new account, and down below select Scan Barcode. Once you have scanned the barcode with your Google Authenticator camera, you will be presented with a six-digit code, similar to this. Select Continue to enter in the unique six-digit code that you receive on your phone. Please note the codes last for about 30 seconds. Once I enter the code, select Verify Two-Step Authentication. You will be presented with the page confirming that you have successfully enabled two-step authentication using Google Authenticator on your iOS device. Now, let's go take a look at how to use the two-step authentication using Google Authenticator when being prompted on a Stanford application. In this example, I'll be navigating to the Stanford email and calendar application. I am first prompted to enter in my SUNET ID and password. I will then be prompted with the second step, which is in to provide an authentication code. Here, you will want to launch the Google Authenticator on your smartphone and enter the six-digit code that displays and select Login.
For more information on two-step authentication, visit the IT Services website, where you will be provided with more information on how to set it up, as well as a detailed instruction on how to set it up on your iOS device, as well as an Android device. This concludes the two-step authentication using Google Authenticator on an iOS device, including overview, setup, and how to use it.